Hello. I have some more pay dirt. I have Clash's Gold Crumbs Mini Pay Dirt. These bags are 50 to 60% ROI for $15 each. So I picked up a couple of them. And they do have bonus bag chances containing up to a 500% ROI. So hopefully we can get that. Now, on the back, they are numbered. Looks like I have number 27 and 34. So if anybody else has bought some of these, comment on my video and let me know if any of yours were bonus bags. We are going to crack the code and see how he or Heather does his bonus bags. We're going to see if it's, if it's a sequential order that we can crack Da Vinci code that. And because there are some bonus bags, I've been trying to weigh them by hand just to see if I can feel a difference. The scale I have for gold only goes up to 20 grams and these weigh more than that. But if you look at his description of these, the bags will contain gold, gemstones, minerals. I can actually feel they both have a guitar pick. I can feel that in there. And then some of them may contain 0.4 gram nuggets coins that he finds on his metal detecting, lead bullets, other gemstones and crystals that he might throw in. Kind of like what he does with his other pay dirts as well. So that weight discrepancy could just be one of those other items. Because I can definitely tell this one weighs more, number 27, compared to 34. So we are going to go in order. So I am going to do 27 first. And then I will do 34 after that, and we'll do a comparison on this video. So we'll put this off to the side and we'll start with this one. All right, let's rip this open. And if I would have ripped it good. Oh, yep. There's the gem guitar pick. I'll add that to my other ones. So I actually have two versions of his second version. And this is his fourth or fifth version, the white one. Now his latest. So if anyone out there has the number one green edition that I can trade one of the twos for, or even a three for, let me know. Now let's dump this out. Looks like I got a little crystal in there. A little purple phantom too. Bigger rocks. Don't see no nuggets. Well, I think I saw a speck of gold in there. Yep, there's one right there too. And I'm actually going to pan this out on camera since it's such a small amount. So let's get that set up. So after picking some of the larger rocks out, got a really small amount here. So I might not even just pan it. I might just do the whole stratify it with the water and just circle back on it. So let's just try that. I'm just going to drain some of that water off here quick.
Okay, well, let's just... Oh, got some gold coming up there. I usually do the... Not sure why I changed up my method. I usually just do the straight back. I tend to find if you're if you swirl it, it likes to pull it down more, so Oh gold's already peeking out. That seems like a lot of gold. The whole that's more specs than I was expecting, but it is smaller, so we'll have to see how much it weighs up in the end. There we go, yep. Keep bumping my camera every time I got too big of a pan. All right, I'll have to clean this up a little bit, but bring it closer. Not bad. I'll get this dried out and we'll weigh it up. All right, so while that first uh, batch of gold dries out, let's open up number 34. Oh, it looks similar. I see a crystal, rocks, and a guitar pick on top. I did see some gold as that came out. Another version of that one. Another crystal. No phantom color in it this time though, compared to the first one. Rocks. So I didn't get any coins or lead or bullets. And I'm okay with that. I don't I have plenty of ammo. I don't need more bullets. All right, so I'm gonna get this one prepped for a wash back as well, and we'll bring you in when that comes up. Okay, so let's get this stratified down. Get this all nice and wet. Drain some of that off. Just make sure all that gold gets down to the bottom. It shouldn't take too much, but... Okay. Bring that up just a little bit for you guys. Starting to see it come out the corners. Try to walk that back up to the top. A 
And there's that gold smile. This one does seem to have a lot more smaller flakes. You can see all those over here. Looks about the same amount. Got about the same size except for a big, kind of like one decent one, just like the last batch. So let me get both of these dried out and we'll compare them in, in weight. Alright, so here are the results for the two little mini bags. So this was number 27. A little nice little pile there. And bag 34. About the same. So let's bring the scale over. And see. One point, oops, sorry, point one seven two. So most of this gold is fine and it has like one a little bit bigger of a picker. Now we'll see if we can get this one. This stuff is still sticking to my the sides of my container. Point one six fives. So I was correct. Bag one was a little heavier. Not by much. So that is it. That's the review for the two mini bags. Was it hard pay dirt? No. Um, is it something that you could introduce someone to? Yes, that's what I believe it's meant to be as well. Plus you get some other little cool things in the bags. Uh, which I believe is his intention is to get people just to get a cheaper product. He does have other bags on his website if you need a more experienced or a bigger bag of dirt to, for more material to go through. Because as you saw, these are like a couple scoops of teaspoons and you don't even have to pan it. You can just stratify it and then pan it back. So really easy to do if you want to show anybody how to do part of the panning process and I for the price and for the gold it's not a bad deal so go check it out if you're interested I'll put his link in for his YouTube channel and a link below for the website thanks for watching